If we have this simple op amp circuit here, we click on this component tool and go into op amps. We're going to choose universal op amp. We drop that in. So this ideal op amp is behaving as expected and we're going rail to rail, zero to five volts. But if I plan to use a specific op amp like LM358, go to TI and we can get a SPICE model. It's in my project folder with this circuit. If I want to change this ideal op amp, I go here and add this SPICE directive dot lib for library and the name of the exact file. So what I can do now, if I right click here, if I say open, so I need to just copy the specific name of this sub circuit. And if I right click on the op amp, change this value and put in that sub circuit name. So I'm going to run it. We're going to be clipping. So that's where it comes in useful to actually simulate for what you're going to use. 